In this video I'm going to look at uh, two related rates problems uh, involving distance, velocity, and time. Now there's usually a lot of information in these so I'm going to go through the process of trying to set up a diagram to keep track of everything. At 2 p.m. ship A is 25 kilometers due south of ship B. So I've got ship A south of ship B and I've marked the 25 along here and that's at 2 o'clock. Ship A is traveling west at a speed of 16 kilometers per hour. So that's along here. It's going west at 16 kilometers per hour. I've got this marked here. And ship B is moving south at 20 kilometers per hour. So I've got these, uh, these primes here are dx dt and dy dt. As you see, y is lengthening and x is lengthening as these ships move. And we have to find the rate at which the distance between the ships is changing at 2.30. So I've marked 2.30 on the diagram here, this is where ship B is at 2.30 and this is where ship A is at 2.30. Mark those with B prime and, and A prime. Now you notice if this distance down here is Y and the distance down to A is 25, this will be 25 minus Y from B prime to A. So I find it important to put these times on here so that I can, I can figure out where the ships are at the various times. Now I've repeated the diagram here again uh, and what I want to do is I want to figure out where the ships are at 2.30. Now you see this ship has moved down from 2 o'clock to 2.30 so that's a half an hour later and this one as well half an hour later so at uh, 2.30 if uh, x prime is 16, x will be 8 because it's only for half an hour, and y prime is 20, so y will be 10, just half of the 20. And I'm going to set up the Pythagorean relationship. Uh, z squared equals x squared plus 25 minus y squared. I first of all put in the x and the, and the y values, the x uh, being 8 and the y being 10, that's how I got the 15 here to work out z. And what I'm getting ready for here is to take the derivative of this expression. Now when I do that, this is, uh, this is the only line in here that actually involves calculus. I'm doing a derivative with respect to time, so this is actually implicit differentiation. Uh, 2zz prime, 2x, x prime. Now be careful here, the 2 comes down in front of the bracket, the exponent on the bracket is 1, times the derivative of what's inside. Remember you're going to pick up a negative dy by dt. Uh, from here on it's just a matter of uh, dividing everybody by 2, uh, dividing both sides by z in order to get z prime alone and then plugging in the numbers. You see I've got x up here x is 8, x prime is 16, uh, the y at this point is 10 giving me a 15 in here and y prime is the 20 that I've got over here. You notice that I've ended up with a negative answer meaning that this distance between the ships is shortening uh, at the rate of negative uh, 10.12 kilometers per hour. So this distance is actually decreasing at that time. Okay, the second question I'm going to look at, uh, this time we've got trains traveling, uh, train A is traveling south toward Toronto, so here's train A coming down. It's traveling at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour, I've marked that on the diagram. With expected arrival time of 3.15, so I marked the 3.15 here, that's when this train is expected to arrive in Toronto. Train B is traveling east toward Toronto, this is traveling east at 100 kilometers per hour, marked it right here. Expected arrival time 3.30, so I've got the 3.30 arrival time for this train along here and the 3.15 so that I can keep track of this one. 
And just like the last question, I want to know at what rate is the distance between them changing at 245. So I've marked uh, everything that I could on here, uh, and I also mentioned the uh, dx by dt, which is the, the 100, and the dy by dt, which is 80. The reason I have the negative signs here is because y is getting shorter, and x is getting shorter, so they're decreasing in length, that's why I have the negative signs on them. So this is a repeat of what I was talking about, and mainly what I have to find is uh, dl dt at 245. So, at 245, since the arrival time here is 315, that's a half an hour later. So, since that train is moving 80 kilometers per hour, the y value will be half of 80, or 40. And uh, this train coming in is going to arrive at 3.30, so that's uh, 45 minutes. So that's three quarters of its uh, 100 kilometers per hour, so it's 75. So I set up Pythagorean Theorem, put in the x and y values, this is simply to figure out the L value along here. Then we go back to this equation again. That's where the calculus starts. Uh, 2 LL prime implicit differentiation with respect to time. Divide through by 2. and Divide both sides by L. And then just put in the numbers. The, uh, the 75 and the 40 we worked out up here. And the uh, the um, x prime and y prime from over here. And we get the fact that this distance is decreasing at this rate. Uh, and again, the units will be in kilometers per hour.